If you're like us, your dream island vacation is not just about tropical beaches, palm trees, and fruity drinks. You're into the plains, and if that's the case, there's no better beach than Maho on the island of St. Martin. Well, the drinks are actually pretty good, but we'll get to that. Hello, Jet Setters. I'm Jeff Brooks from greenergrass.com. Right now, I'm on the island of St. Martin. Now, this is a tropical paradise to be sure, but I'm excited to be here for a very different reason. Let me show you why. This island, located in the Caribbean Sea, is only 34 square miles and has been divided between the French and the Dutch since 1648. It's famous for beautiful beaches, friendly locals, and seemingly endless sun. But we weren't too interested in any of that. We came for a different kind of action. That was an Air France A330 passing just right over our heads after its eight hour flight from Paris. In order to maximize our views, we chose to stay as close to the airport as we possibly could. So that meant we stayed at the Morgan Hotel and Resort. It's located just steps away from the Maho Beach. And watching the planes land from this rooftop is reason enough to stay here. Princess Juliana International Airport began as a U.S. military airstrip in 1942. That was during World War II. Its first commercial flight, though, landed uh, the next year, in 1943. As the popularity of this island and its neighbors grew, the airport became busier and busier. In fact, the airport's relatively short 7,546-foot runway frequently played host to huge 747s until as recently as 2016, when KLM switched their service to A330s. During our visit, we saw countless small airplanes coming and going from nearby islands. But naturally, the most exciting moments arrived when the larger airplanes, like this Delta 757 bound for New York's JFK airport, came into the picture. I really liked seeing the private jets too. My airplane is actually on approach right now, so uh, let's check this out. I wish. The rooftop had binoculars. Not that you really need them. I mean, we were really up close and personal with this action. The approach angle for some of these smaller airplanes, like this Twin Otter, was really something to see from this perspective. But no problem, these pilots are professionals. Uh, speaking of professionals, there was a steady stream of aircraft coming into this single runway. The air traffic controllers here at SXM must work very, very hard. I was so excited to see this United 737-700 in the new livery. This is my favorite 737 variant, and it's easy to see why from this angle. It's just such a good looking airplane. But then, check this out, a JetBlue A320 in one of their unique liveries. I mean, this thing is so cool looking. What do you say we head down to the beach to get closer? Uh, but first, we saw this American Airlines 737 MAX bound for Miami. That's the same flight we'll highlight in our next video on this channel. We flew on board in economy, and since a lot of you have been asking to see more economy videos, I can't wait to share that one with you. Keep an eye on the channel. We publish new videos nearly every Saturday at 11 o'clock Eastern. But seeing that sand blow from the jet blast, it inspired us to get down to the beach. You can only see so much from up here. So let's get down there. This is Maho Beach. Okay, that Britain Norman Islander departure was perfectly pleasant. Maybe this sign is overkill? I mentioned how hard air traffic controllers must have to work here. Well, a big part of that is because there's only one runway. And as the departures started lining up, the arrivals came streaming in. At one point, I overheard a man asking his wife, is this real? As I waved back at the flight deck crew of this Airbus A319, visions of the warning sign flashed back in my head, and as attempting as this railing was, I knew that was a bad idea, so I stood back, and I thought I was prepared. My feet were planted firmly in the sand, I was leaning forward, I was ready for the hit, 
But then the pilot throttled forward and the stand started hitting me like millions of tiny needles. And then I felt the hot exhaust. I could barely stand up. I just wasn't ready, but I recovered. Soon, an American Airlines 737 arrived, and the exhaust and sand from this one was enough to chase Suzanne away. But the culmination was this 757. This airplane is known as the Ferrari of the skies because it's overpowered. Just how overpowered? I was about to find out. Now, adding to the complexity of the air traffic control situation here, there's no room for a taxiway on the eastern side of the airfield, which means departing aircraft are asked to taxi onto the runway and line up and wait while the arriving aircraft back taxi along the runway to go to their gate. This added time meant uh, even more nervous anticipation about what this would be like. And when that pilot powered up, the sand came on strong, leaving what Suzanne dubbed a pretty bad sand burn. Is that a thing? Anyway, I survived this one too. The secret, it seems, is burying your feet in the sand. That was less than pleasant, I'm not going to lie, that was, I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, oh, the 737 was nothing, that, that 757, those engines can roll. I, I suspected it might be, and I had enough of the 737, and I ran away. <laughs> but we'd worked up an appetite, so we made our way over to the Sunset Bar and Grill, arguably the world's best beach bar, at least for aviation enthusiasts. The ambiance balanced beaches and aviation in a way only this place could. And the menu was filled with the food and drinks you'd expect from a beach bar like this. And we were happy to place our order while we watched even more arrivals. We enjoyed our drinks, sunset, more fantastic aviation action. And as much as I love this United 737-700, I was super stoked to see another Air France A330. This place gets five stars for location, but I don't have much to say about the onion rings. The pinnacle was at the end of the afternoon when that Paris flight returned in reverse operations, taking off out of the sunset. Between now and the next time, see you on the beach. <laughs>